thank you for coming to the Art Life YouTube channel. My name is Mrs. B. This is Sadie and <laughs> and my girls are coming with me today to do a guided drawing task with you. So come with me and I'll show you some really simple steps to drawing something really awesome. Now I haven't told the girls what we're drawing yet. Girls, do you want to know? Yeah. Today we're going to draw your favourite toy. Yeah. Oh. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. The first thing you need to do is go make the difficult choice and choose your number one favourite toy and have it in front of you when we're drawing. So girls, you need to go find it. Go, go, go. Ready? Show everyone. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. This is Delilah's <laughs> very loved and disgusting teddy that she just adores. She wants to draw this one. And Sadie's beautiful unicorn. Her name's Rainbow Mane. And we'll be drawing her today. So you can have your teddy or your toy in front of you as I guide you through this drawing task. Let's go. Let's go. All you need for today's guided drawing task is some paper, nice and plain if you have it, as well as a grey lead pencil, that's very important. And if you have some colouring materials, crayons, pencils or textures, just to add colour to your beautiful work. Once you're all set up, we can get started. Just a friendly reminder to check out my socials, including subscribing to this channel. I have some Instagrams, there's an art based one where it pretty much showcases all the paintings that I create. Then there's the art life one which has to do with all of the art stuff that we do on this channel. And then if you follow me at Art Life Art Lessons on Facebook, that's a really fun group and extra kind of videos. And on TikTok, that is my name, and I create some funny short videos for you as well based on my YouTube. So feel free to follow me at all my socials, and I'll see you there. Now, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to draw Delilah's teddy and Sadie's unicorn. However, I hope that the strategies that I show you, you'll be able to then implement in your own toy and be able to break it down to be able to draw whatever it is that you have in front of you. So you just need a gray lead pencil. And before we do any drawing, I'd like you to learn the difference between what it means to draw and what it means to sketch. These are two similar but very different things. If we draw, generally we're doing it fairly quickly. You can see that the line here is quite dark and might be a little bit difficult to rub out if I need it to. And it might not be very perfect because I'm sort of just drawing lines like this. Now, can I show you the difference between drawing and sketching now? It's very similar, sketching. But I'm using little lines, you see little sketchy lines. You might notice I'm drawing a lot slower and that's helping me get the shape I want as perfect as I can. But I'm also pressing a lot lighter. You can see the difference here. So if I needed to rub out a section for any reason, I'd be able to do that without really destroying my whole artwork. So today I'd love for you to try your best at sketching, if you can. Okay. So all you need is a plain piece of paper, girls. You can have a piece each. Here you go, Sadie and Delilah. You need a pencil. So the first thing you need to do is have the teddy or the toy in front of you. So you can use it for reference and try to draw what you see, not what you think you see. And there is a difference. For example, if I were to draw a tree, what I think I see with a tree might be like that. That's what our brain tells us a tree looks like. But trees don't actually look like a sheep with two legs, do they? No. no, they actually don't look like that at all. If I were to look and really see a tree, I would notice that a tree actually has lots of branches coming out like this and then smaller branches coming off the bigger branches. They get skinnier, they get a little bit fatter toward the trunk. 
and that kind of looks like this. And you've got lots of individual leaves. So if I actually look at something, I'm able to draw it a lot better rather than just working off my memory. So have your item in front of you. And today we need to try to look closely at our item, this disgusting little teddy bear that Delilah's slept with every day since she's been born. Its name is Tedder and it's falling apart, but we need to look at the simple shapes of this item and with the item you have in front of you. So today we're really learning about shape and any object you have in front of you is made up of shapes. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, instead of trying to draw the teddy as a whole, which might be a little bit overwhelming, a little bit scary for some people who haven't done a lot of drawing, I'm going to do one part at a time. And today we're gonna to start with the head. Now, what shape do you think the head is? Circle. Yeah, it's kind of like a circle or an oval. So let's start. We're gonna put our tether there. Try to sketch a circle. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just do your best. There you go, have a go, draw a circle. Try and draw a circle up here, sweetie. I can see you're really trying to do some sketching, Sadie. That's great. It's a bit tricky. Good. Awesome. So we've drawn the circle. If you have some sort of toy, maybe start with the head as well. Then we're going to look at the body. Now, what shape can you see? What, what shape is the body? What do you think, Sadie? Oval. Yeah. It's a really long oval shape. And it's got a little bit of a bigger belly down the bottom, but we're not going to worry about that detail. We're going to try and do a nice long oval. So just try to make your teddy or your toy as simple as possible. Good job. Lila, have a go at drawing an oval for the body for the teddy. All the way down. Very good. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to have a look at the limbs. So what type of shape do you think the arms are, Sadie? Don't worry about these bits. What do you think the shape is here? Line. It's kind of like a line. It's a really, really long oval. I'll show you what I mean. So this oval is so long. It kind of is rounded at the edge at the bottom here and up like that. If you wanted to, you could simplify it even more by making it a rectangle like this and then just drawing in the rounded edges if you if that makes it easier for you. It has an oval and a rectangle. Yeah, it's kind of like an oval and a rectangle. And then you would just rub out the corners. All right, Lila had a bit of trouble with the arms, but that's more than fine. Now the legs are pretty much the same girls. So we're just gonna do some legs coming out as if it was sitting. Again, if you wanna do a rectangle. Now you can see that our toy is starting to take shape a bit. Now, the next step after you've looked and noticed the basic shapes of your toy, now it's important to add the details. Details are the things that make it look like what you see in front of you. What do you think is one of the details we need to do for our teddy, Sadie? Uh, ears. Yeah, he needs ears. What's another thing we need to do for our teddy, Delilah? Ears. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do the ears. What else, Delilah? What else? What else can you see? No. We need to do the nose. That's so true. What else? And, uh, necklace. Yes, we need uh, to do the necklace. All right, excellent. So look closely at the teddy or the toy in front of you and have a go at adding in any extra details. Look at the shape, look at where they are and try your best to put them down. I've noticed a detail at the um, end okay. of the teddy's feet here. He actually has big rounded bottoms to his feet that make them look I a bit do, um, like I can that. do um, ears. Okay, you do your best. I just do um, arms. Now, if you're choosing just to have a go at drawing Delilah's tether, that is perfectly fine, but I hope that you have your own toy in front of you that you can try and do this task with. Now, when it comes to the nose, he's actually got 
a bit of a bump on the nose here. It's not just flat. So we need to show that just by drawing a bit of a circle. And then he's got a tiny little upside down triangle nose here. Have a look at where the eyes might be. They're kind of here on this teddy. Ice, 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 ice. And this teddy has a love heart necklace. Sort of like fingers that look like this. My teddy. That's your teddy. He's looking a bit scruffy here, but he looks nice and neat there. My excellent. Nice. So hopefully you've been able to draw your teddy or your toy just by simplifying it into basic shapes and then adding the details that you see. Now, if you have time and if you have the materials available, you might choose to outline, which means just going over all the lines you want to keep to make them stand out with your chosen colour. Now, you can't rub out a texture or a pencil, so it's important very important to do your outlining as neatly as you can. And if you happen to mis make a mistake, just try your best to turn it into a masterpiece just by fixing it up. Another detail I'm going to add is just the, um, the kind of colours uh, and, the, and the lines within his kind of speckledy coat. So I'm just going to draw in some patterns on his, on his belly. And that will help me when colouring in. I love yours, though. Thank you. I love yours, too. Now, a word I like to use a lot in my art room is workmanship. Workmanship just means that with whatever you're doing, you're trying your absolute hardest. So for example, I'm really trying to get in all the white gaps. If I just did that, that's not really my hardest work, is it? But I need to try to concentrate. I need to try and fill all the areas so that when I finish my work, I know that I've done my best and I can be super proud of the outcome. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> there we go. And Sadie's is going very well over here as well, trying her very hardest, I'm sure. Do you want to show everyone? This is my teta. <laughs> Did you like the task? It's pink. <laughs> Sadie decided to change the colour of the tether to make it sort of abstract colours or the colours that she chooses and that's perfectly fine as well. She's done really well with the colouring in and the outlining. So now we're going to move on to doing Sadie's toy which I want to show you because it's a little bit more of a complicated shape. So if you have something that's a little bit trickier like this, I'll be able to guide you through it as well. So notice the shape of this toy is a little bit different to the teddy. The teddy was long, which is why we held our page portrait, whereas the unicorn is longer this way. So we're gonna hold our page landscape. So that might be a decision that you need to make based on the toy you're choosing to draw. Now again, we need to do the same thing as when we were drawing the tether. And what was the first thing we needed to do, Sadie? Do you remember? The head. Yes, we're gonna start with the head and we, and we need to turn the head into the most basic shapes. So I see there's a bit of a strange shape here, but instead of trying to draw this kind of weird and wobbly shape, you can actually turn it into two shapes. For example, I see a circle and then a half circle or a semicircle. So let's try and sketch that now. I'm gonna draw a circle for the head. A circle. But then she's got this snout here, which is kind of like a semicircle, so a half circle coming off the circle. 
So the more complicated or um, detailed your animal or toy is, the more shapes you sort of need to put together to make it the right one. So now what should we do? A body. And what shape can you see with the body? Don't worry about the mane or the wings or anything like that. Just look at the shape. Rectangle? Yeah. We kind could of do... the shape of our body? Yeah, kind of like a, a long, overly rectangle. So if you would prefer to do a rectangle, just draw it really lightly like that, coming off the head. But you might choose to sort of make the edges round, like a bit of an oval. I'm going to do a line and then a circle. Okay. Cut yeah. Great. And this is why it's important to sketch because if I need to get rid of some lines, they get rubbed out very easily. Awesome. Okay, now we need the legs. What yeah. type of shape are the legs, do you think? Little lines. Well, not, not just lines. What shape can you see? Like, um, kind of like a rectangle or a yeah, square. A small rectangle. Yeah, a really small rectangle coming off like that one and two. If you'd like to to pop in some hiding little back legs there, you can. Well done with your shape, Sadie. Now, I think that that is pretty much the basic shape of our unicorn. Can you sort of see it come together? That's sort of starting to look like a bit of a, yeah. could be a dog, it could be a horse, it could be a pig, it could be a lot of things at the moment. If it looks like, if it looks like a horse, then you just add a horn. Yeah, well, that's true. So it's the details that really make our shapes come together. So things like, I might connect the head there with the body, get rid of that line. And I might add some ears, they're kind of triangles sticking up the top here. One, two. This particular toy has a glittery kind of wing coming up, which is a bit tricky, but we can try and draw that as well. Of course, tail coming down like this. Scruffy kind of tail. Yeah. Great. Needs a mane too, doesn't it? Mane. The mane kind of comes up. You could do individual lines or I might do just a wobbly kind of shape like that. This. Great. Bless you, Delilah. And the lucky last detail, very oh. important. Oh. Is this glittery horn? And that's at the front, so I'll get rid of these other lines. There we go. How did we do? Hopefully, you can see that, but I'll outline it now if you're having trouble seeing it. It's like she has three years on mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I can colour it, colour it in different, can't I? Of course. I was just explaining to Sadie earlier that it's it's not important to press really hard when you're coloring in it's actually better just to press quite softly because it means it's not going to hurt your hand probably means you're going to work harder and get all the white gaps that's probably more important you can see here I'm trying to sort of color in the same direction as best I can There we go. You can see I've really tried my best to get all the white gaps, colour in as neatly as I can and add patterns where possible as well. I might have a go at adding an interesting background. Does she look similar? 
Fun. <laughs> Comment below what you did. Ready to say, we say, it's as simple as that. Yeah, it's as simple as that. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed drawing your favorite toy today and that you've been able to simplify each of the areas of your toy into very simple shapes and then adding details to put it all together outlining, colouring in, things like that. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment below if you've enjoyed the task. Like, share and subscribe these videos because we love making them for you. Have an awesome day everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.